anonymous procedures. Once again, an anonymous procedure is a procedure without a name. It is not stored in the database because it is a procedure which is used only once. In other words, it cannot be executed again. Here is a syntax diagram of the anonymous procedure syntax. Here we have a variable declaration section. It's optional and it's listed under the declare section. The front slash command at the end will submit the procedure to the parser, compile it, and then execute it. The block declared between the begin and end statements is the executable code. This part here is actually demonstrating that we can place a block within a block, including its own exception trap loop. Here we can see the exception traps highlighted. The race statement is optional. What it does is it actually passes the exception up to the parent or calling procedure, be it another procedure you have written or your application. These are called exception traps. They trap exceptions. Now I'm going to demonstrate some very simple anonymous procedures. Here is an anonymous procedure highlighted here. I'm using DBMS output within the procedure to output some information. So I need to set server output on in order to get the output from DBMS output to appear in SQL+. I'm going to copy this code, which is actually doing a for loop, counting from 1 to 10, and simply outputting where the count is. Here's the exception. Generally, an exception trap has a rollback, especially if you have any kind of SQL database change activity, such as DML statements. In this case, it's not strictly necessary, but we'll put it there anyway. Let's copy and paste this procedure and execute it. And you can see we have a count from 1 to 10. Very simple. Here's another slightly more complex anonymous procedure. It builds what's called a cursor, which we'll get onto later. And then it does things to the supporting act table based on the acts and shows that were selected to create supporting act records. This particular anonymous procedure is part of the schema scripts that we use to create the concepts schema database and all its data. Don't worry about that for now. I'm just showing you that it's a little bit more complex than simply something such as this.